the fruit that Jesus speaks about Na is for him to reside in your heart. Yeye ndani mwa moyo wako. And the second one which he actually expects from us who have him in our heart na sisi, na pili kutoka kwetu, is to be able to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Ya tunde la rom that is in Galatians chapter 5 ni wa mlango wa tano. from verse 19 kutokea mstari wa 19 mpaka 23 to verse 22 mpaka 22 and the bible actually recalls some few things which i want to mention na biblia inasema mambo mawili matatu ambayo nataka kusema he tells us that actually you should be able to bear the fruit of love ya kwamba uweze kukua na tunda la upendo he asks us actually to bear the fruit of joy tuwe pia na furaha joy is different from happiness furaha ni tofauti now, joy is the deepest of happiness. I don't know how my interpreter will interpret that. Kufurai ni deep kuliko kufurai sana. You could be going through difficult times. Waeza kwa unapitia wakati mgumu. But God gives you the joy of, his, of, of salvation. Lakini mungu anakupatia furai ya wakovu wako. It comes with you knowing Christ. Inakuja kwa we kumujua Yesu Christo. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is kindness. Tunda la Rom takatifu ni wema. It is goodness. Uzuri. Ni uzuri. Faithfulness. Uaminifu. Gentleness. Ujendulnesi. And self-control. Na kiasi. Bigieni buwana makofi mkalimani wangu. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Usifikire kusimama hapa ni mchesu. Na kuambia. <laughs> and the fig tree had a lot of leaves. Na uo mti ulikuwa na matawi mengi sana. But it had no joy. Lakini haikuwa na furaha. It had no kindness. Haikuwa na uwema. It had no gentleness on all those that we mentioned. Hayo matunda yote tulio ya taja haya hapa kweko. God is asking us. Mungu anatuuliza sisi. As many as are hearing my voice. That we may bear fruits. Let's not be people with leaves. Let's not be people that are actually just having an outward appearance. But emptiness in our heart. God wants us to be Christians that are lovable. Mungu anataka tuko wa Kristo ambao wanapendeza. People that love him so passionately. Watu ambao wanampenda kweli kweli kabisa. I'm sorry to say. Ninaomba msamaha kwa kusema hivi. That even Kenyans have loved our politicians so much. Wa Kenya wanapenda wanasiasa sana. You know I put this track here in the morning around 9 a.m. Tulileta lori hii karibu saa 3 asubuhi leo. But when some of you saw it is church. Na wakati wengine wenye waliopo na kwamba ni kanisa. Ah, uh, you were not excited. Hamukufurahi. But if I came here with the president and we just passed. Na tulipopita hapa na rais. If we passed here with the president. Kama tungepita mali hapa na rais. Oh governor. Ama na governor. I can tell you the security would be finding how to ensure we get to Kungekuwa hapa na wengi sana watu wa ulinzi. Just because. Kwa sababu we have glorified things tumeweza kuinua vitu that do not matter ambazo hazijalishi we have glorified politics tumeweza kuinua siasa and we live in fear today now because there's no politics na kwa sababu leo hakuna siasa tunaishi kwa some of us can stay in Osanigish some of us can stay in Eldoret wengine wetu tuweza ishi mji huu when Eldoret. we go home on that day of voting we are living in fear Today I'm living with some of you who look like my neighbors who are good. Leo hii wanakani wazuri. But when the sun changes at night, you change to a neighbor, you become a different, totally different person. You put on your mask. You put on your hat. Unakuwa tofauti kabisa. Kofia unaweka kofia. Eh eh. And you want to do something that is hyenas or something bad to your neighbor. Na unataka kufanya vitu vitu kijakoya kijakoya hivi. Because the people that are actually causing trouble to us. Kwa sababu watu ambao wanatuletea shida. Are just our neighbors. 
They just live along the road. If Jesus would move, he would just move straight like he moved to the fig tree. But he will not find an iota of humanity. He will not see any of the things he would say, this is a good Samaritan. We have too many people. Kuna watu wengi sana but they are just leaves. Lakini ni matawi tu. Hakuna matunda. No fruits at all. They have nothing to show that they are actually believers. Hawana chochote cha kuonesha kwamba wao ni waaminiyo. You can imagine. Waweza fikiri that even in the church we have to put on CCTV. Ya kwamba hata kanisa ambapo kuna 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 CCTV People are able to steal even from churches. It is that bad. Some of us even in our homes. We have people but we suspect every person. We have people but we people but we suspect every person. Look to your neighbor if you can suspect him or her. Just suspect, yeah, suspect, just suspect them. Let them the pastor has forgiven you. Hallelujah. We cannot trust people anymore. Because the leaves are too many. And there is no fruits. We can go to church but they say keep your bag well. By the way if you have come to this crusade keep your bag well. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Some of us are excited about my message. Please as you speak to me check your Mpesa shop. Please check my sister. Kabisa. Oh my goodness. Amen. Many of us with too many leaves on our heads. We cannot trust anyone. How can I live in my house with my wife and employ five soldiers? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Salvation is the solution. Or we will be cast like Jerusalem. And we will be cast forever. Na tutaweza kulaaniwa milele. 